Yeah. Come on. Come on, don't come off. It was decent size. Oh, it's a constant angler. Um, quick hour session here. Drop the missus off to go for a walk. Uh, I'm going to try and catch a December wrasse. I haven't got out after the wrasse this um, towards the end of this month. I did the beginning of the month and I lost a nice wrasse at this exact spot. Uh, so I come back seeking a bit of revenge. I'm not messing around. I had ideas to show you some new rigs and things, but uh, I didn't really have the time to sort them out. So uh, I'm just going to do what we normally do. If you want to catch a wrasse from the shore in Britain, probably or a ballarass we're talking probably your best bet is a texas rig now if you're you're regular to my channel you'll see me use do it all the time and what i got a hold of here i don't know what the film is going to be like because of the rain on the lens or not but it's a quick session so way. you'll see me use this rig all the time now i either use an egg sinker or a texas weight which is a cone lead weight I use a hook between sort of anywhere between a size 2 and a size 3 depends on the size of the bait and the size of the fish I'm after and I will put here either as I got here now a red jewelry bait uh, bead or bell you can hear that making a noise that noise attracts fish it's like having a rattle in your lure but it's it's up here instead of down here in the tail or just a glass bead or a plastic bead there and uh, yeah we got 15 pound fluorocarbon leather 20 pound braid on an eight foot spinning rod rated at 12 to 30 grams 35 grams even so what i'm going to do i've got some new baits to try uh every wrasse angler loves a z-man bait and they brought out some new ones so my intention was i can use these for perch and wrasse and I did particularly well one day. It's a dark overcast day, so I'm going to go with either a, a blue black sort of color or a pink, something like that. Uh, but I'm going for blue black here. I'll show you the packet. Let's try and do this right. As I say, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I've literally got an armor. And these are the new goats. I got these off Predator Tackle. You can get them off them or Lure Lounge, I think, is another supplier. They're 3.75 inches long. Do you see they're quite a big, thick bait, aren't they? Uh, yeah, got a lot of plans for these. They're what I call a swimming crawl. So by that, I mean the tentacles have little paddles on them. So as you wind them, these will flap around and entice fish. So as I'm pulling up and dropping down, they'll do the same. Uh, so we're just going to rig them like usual straight in texas rigged this is about a size 1020 hook i'm not sure it's what i got left on from last time and it's still strong it's a nogales monster hook which seemed to be doing well but as always i won't until i'm totally convinced with things uh, let you know and another thing we really need to do with ras fishing particularly this spot is a particularly snaggy spot it's taking up your drag so it only gives under the heaviest of pressure. Let's go for it. Hopefully a fish on the first cast, eh? Wouldn't that be good? I'm after the big one I lost the other day. All right, let it hit the deck. Tighten up. Hop, hop, hop. So just think about those appendages that you've got on your lures and how you're going to get them to work. This needs to be jerked up and down a bit, but you don't want to be getting much further that a foot off the bottom when you're doing this and then it'll sit there and it'll, those claws will stand up because this material is buoyant it's the last deck material that uh, Z-Man use hopefully you can see what I'm doing there I'm up above the water deliberately beautiful clarity very dull day and I'm flooding tide so we've got a fan cast around different angles We'll try this, if this doesn't work, we'll put some sort of worm bait on and fish a different retrieve. I don't want the music he's playing behind me, but... We'll see. 
Now you've just got to keep an eye on your Z-Man baits, make sure they don't slip down the hooks. I haven't used any of the tricks today to help with that because I wanted to see how they behave about it. Uh, I do have a video on rigging Z-Man lures. You can check out some very handy tips there to help you overcome some of the problems. Right, I've retied comb weight this time, green bell bead, my favourite stick bait, same hook. Uh, we're uh, going to go for longer pauses, and now we've got a different retrieval technique. So, if you're watching my rod tip now, we're using a worm. So, what we're doing is we're rattling that and then lifting it a little, and we're leaving it for longer. So, it's not such a mobile bait as what we were using before, uh, as the uh, goat bait from Z Man. So if the fish aren't in a chasing mood, which they're obviously not, they're in any sort of mood at all at the minute. Um, we can keep that bait in place longer and I can move that bait barely at all and just shake it in the fish's faces. So we're going for a totally different approach to what we were doing initially. Uh, things are a lot colder as I've already spoke about and the fish become less mobile. Half a dozen casts and that's going to be my lot. This is why it's turned up, so unless I can get a fish quickly, I can interest that fish with this cruel bait. A bit more flapping and action to it. There's a little bit of a wreath there, so I'm trying to bring it in alongside that, more to the left of this sort of bowl area I've got out here that you can't really see unless the tide's low. Oh, there's a thump. Go on, have it. Yeah. Ah, no. I think that's a little fish, but we just had another little bite. This goes to show, doesn't it? There's some in here. Oh, and again, that's a bigger thump. Yeah, got one. Come on, don't come off. This thing's a decent size. So, change of bait, it's not a big fish, so let's fill with, but we got one. We got our December wrasse. <laughs> Little beautiful, oh, pound and a half, something like that. Orange December wrasse. Get the on. I caught one. Now I'm going to... Have another cast as well, I think. Right, what I'm gonna do is put them down in this little rock pool. I'll be right there for the minute. He'll calm down. We'll unhook him. So, grab your line. He's lively, this one. And he's only just up, look. Shows you how hard, he's a little bit bigger than I thought. He was up to the top, very hard. Oh, wow, she's a couple of pounds, that one. Beautiful colours. <sighs> right, so a nice... He's diving over the bottom of the net. He's... <sighs> there he goes. Straight under the ledge in front of me. All right, I'm going to push it now and try and have another cast. <laughs> Show you the bait I used. I'm not sure where the missus has gone to. I said I'd have half a dozen casts and I will because that, <laughs> that's the second cast from when I said it. All right, the end of the bait's chewed up, so I bite through the end. Then I've got fresh plastic to hook into, put over the bait keeper section of the EWG hook there. Lovely. Oh, if I can just thread it properly. I'm a bit too excited at the moment because I just caught a ras. I didn't think I was going to get one, but we did. And he pulled, didn't he? It's those big tails on them. Let's have another go. Right, are we filming? Yes. 
how good the footage will be because of water on the lens and things, I don't know. But we'll have some footage of a December wrasse. So I changed the bait there, fooled that fish. It's probably the same fish I would imagine. It may be more there. I did have tentative bite before. Oh, no, I'm snagged, so it's probably the end of it. No, got it out. Yeah, I had a few tentative bites before that. Um, and then I continued to retrieve and had uh, better bites. I need to do this better. Where has she gone? There we go. Last chuck, I'm afraid. I'm gonna go to Boogie. Ah. Right, a bit more aggressive action, but trying to keep it near the bottom anyway. So I'm lowering the rod tip so I don't pull up so far. It's almost a hop, 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 hop like that. We're doing. There's a pull. Go on, pull it right over. Yeah, got another. Don't feel bad one either. Not as big as the last one, I don't think. He's swimming around. Nah, it's only a little one, this one. So that was probably the already tidy little thing. Look, bless it. It is a ras, isn't it? Yep, yeah, right, well, I'll land this one. But watch the rod tip. You can see we've got a couple of little one there. There, we actually caught him on the outside of the mouth. Under the chin. Beautiful little ras specimen. Well, and ras. Where'd she go? 